Today's digital tools are providing opportunities for advancement in some fields that have not seen any new technological innovation in many years. One organisation is engaged in the digital journey to revamp uh, some of the most important elements of the financial market infrastructure, like payments, clearing and settlement of the US Treasury securities and the business of trade finance. BNY Mellon is using new technologies like AI, blockchain, cloud computing and real-time electronic confirmations to reimagine how these services operate and how clients experience them. Well, to find out more, I spoke to Robin Vince, who's vice chair of BNY Mellon, CEO of Global Market Infrastructure. And I began by asking him how the company is using digital. So we're really using digital across the whole of BNY Mellon as an enterprise. Uh, clearly, the digital revolution that's been going on for a few years and is increasingly taking hold against the, uh, really across the whole financial uh, sector is very, very important for us. Uh, and we are doing a lot of things uh, in the space. Uh, let, let me give you three specific examples of things that we've been doing very recently, which I think are all very exciting. Uh, we've been working very closely with one of the digital leaders, Microsoft, uh, to move uh, our payment infrastructure partly into the cloud. We're very excited to be able to now make uh, wire payments through uh, our cloud infrastructure, uh, working on the Microsoft uh, cloud to be able to do that. So that's a, that's a very interesting and fun uh, change and one that probably really does show the direction of travel uh, for payments uh, going forward. Another thing that we are doing, which is very exciting, and we had announced that we were in a pilot uh, in this regard, which is working uh, with uh, Verizon, uh, one of the world's largest uh, billers, to be able to make real-time payments riding on the, the rails that now exist in the US. BNY Mellon, by the way, was the first uh, bank to make a payment on those uh, clearinghouse rails. We've been working with Verizon in order to be able to help clients of theirs be able to present invoices electronically to the client's own bank and then be able to make a real-time payment on the back of that. So that's a super exciting innovation which really to the point of digital hopefully over time will really take paper out of the equation for some of these large companies that are faced with the challenge of having to deliver uh, invoices and then have effective and efficient payments on the back of it. And then maybe the third example that I give uh, is in our trade finance business, where we have, again, with the idea of really making the whole process front to back substantially more efficient, we've been working with the Marco Polo network to help connect suppliers and purchasers and finances all on the blockchain, again, avoiding all of the shuffling of communications between the various parties. To some extent, whether it was the super old tech of paper or the slightly more modern tech of email, it's still very inefficient as a way of ultimately moving information around and affecting commerce. And so we're very excited uh, about the blockchain and then other opportunities to really digitize those types of businesses. So clearly you've, you've got quite a number of digital initiatives that you're developing at once, but Pershing is also one of the BNY Mellon businesses that you oversee. So can you tell us a little bit about how digital figures into the plans you've got for Pershing? Where are you taking it? Uh, absolutely. So, so Pershing uh, at BNY Mellon is a very substantial business. It's made up of two key components. One is our institutional solutions business, and then the other is our wealth solutions business. And in the wealth solutions business, uh, we're a very substantial provider of platforms uh, to the wealth management industry, both through the US broker dealer channel and through the registered investment advisor channel. And it's a service that we provide uh, in many markets around the world. And one of the things that we've been very excited about is our journey with our NetX investor product. Uh, that is a very uh, easy investor based platform that allows uh, advisors to open investor accounts anytime, anywhere, uh, and very, very efficiently. And we have built that capability 
in a very open architecture way uh, using a series of micro front ends, which allow us to deliver different micro components of the NetEx investor offering very seamlessly to our clients. A good example would be if we had a client that wanted to take our trade execution capabilities and actually just take that capability and embed it in some other web page or front end, they can actually do that. They can just pull that micro component from NetEx uh, Investor uh, embedded into their own offering. And that's a very powerful capability and we're excited to continue uh, to take NetEx Investor in that direction with these different micro components that can be reused with just a few or called with just a few lines of code. And Robin, just to conclude, can you give us an example of a digital initiative already in flight at BNY Mellon that's actually at work in the market and making the client experience better, trading more efficient or financial markets more secure? Well, Ju Juliet, this is a little bit like asking me to pick, uh, you know, pick the favorite of my children. You know, we've got so many of the things that are doing exactly what it is that you're describing. But sure, I'm happy. I'm happy to to pick one just as an example. Um, so, so recently, uh, we worked with Google Cloud uh, to use uh, AI, uh, and we partnered with a specialist AI platform provider, and with Google Cloud to be able to predict settlement fails in the US Treasury market. It sounds sort of dull uh, looking at fails uh, in the clearance market, but there's a lot of inefficiency and sometimes market dislocation, which can come as a result of fails. And we've found through our pilot that is now working uh, for clients, uh, as you laid out, uh, that the AI tech leveraging the power of that big data and doing it through the cloud is predicting a little under half of the settlement fails that occur with a 90% accuracy rate. So we're able to provide the service to our clients to point to them likely fails before they've actually happened so that they can go in and do something to remediate it. And that prevents expense and inconvenience uh, for our clients and is an important client service uh, that, uh, that, that we're excited to bring to them. Okay, Robin, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you.